Hello, my name is Ville Mäkelä, and in this video I will present our CHI-22 paper Pandemic Displays Considering Hygiene on Public Touchscreens in the Post-Pandemic Era. Public interactive displays are numerous in urban areas. They appear in many public and semi-public locations and serve many functions ranging from entertainment and information to various services. The overwhelming majority of public interactive displays work by touching them. Touch is the prevailing approach for good reason, as touch interaction is fast, easy and familiar. However, the COVID-19 pandemic introduced entirely new questions for public displays. Now, more than ever, we need to consider the possible costs of heavy use of shared touchscreens. Touching surfaces that have been touched by others may transmit bacteria. Viruses, like COVID-19, can also spread via shared surfaces, and other infectious diseases may appear in the future. To the best of our knowledge, questions regarding hygiene on public touchscreens have not been sufficiently covered by existing research. Moreover, the COVID-19 pandemic may have changed the public attitudes on hygiene. People might now be more aware of hygiene and where they touch, thereby changing the requirements for public touchscreens. Therefore, the goal of this work is to understand how people perceive public touch displays since the pandemic and whether there is value in showing hygiene-related information on public touchscreens. With this in mind, we came up with a hygiene concept for public touchscreens. We identified four general purpose possibilities that might communicate the hygiene state of the screen to potential users. The purpose behind these functions was that they are not specific to any particular design or functionality of a touchscreen, but could be implemented in any application and could be visualized on the screen with no additional hardware. The first idea is the visualization of touches. Users touching or dragging their fingers across the screen would leave a trace, so that subsequent users could then avoid those areas. The second function is to keep track of the number of users. A large number of users likely increases the risks of touching a shared screen. The third function is to track how long it has been since someone else touched the screen. Some bacteria and viruses wear off over time. The fourth function is to show how much time has passed since the display was last cleaned. Recently cleaned displays are less likely to contain bacteria or viruses. Based on these four functions, we developed a prototype which was implemented on top of an existing public display application. The application was a typical information display where news and information about various events were contained in elements that floated across the screen. These elements could be tracked around the screen and clicked to open them. On top of this application, we included the four hygiene functions that we designed earlier. The first function is the visualization of touches. Touching anywhere on the screen leaves a trace. The current user is visualized in green. When the user leaves, the traces turn red to communicate the touches of past users to new users. We experimented with three different touch visualizations, fingerprints, viruses, and circles. Our prototype application randomly chose one of these on startup and changed the visualization automatically every three hours. In addition to touch visualizations, the concept included a hygiene panel on the top right corner that showed the number of different users that touched the screen since it was last cleaned, time since the previous user touched the screen, and time since the display was cleaned. With this hygiene concept in mind, we conducted two studies. We first conducted an online survey where we asked people about their perception and usage habits of various touchscreens in public spaces and also gathered initial responses to seeing hygiene-related information on public displays. This online survey was not specifically about our hygiene concept but was inspired by some of the features we had planned. Then we conducted a more specific evaluation of our hygiene prototype. We gathered feedback on the prototype through a field deployment as well as an online study where the prototype was distributed remotely. We did this because of the prevailing pandemic situation so that we could gather feedback from those who, at the time, avoided leaving their homes. Next, I will summarize our main findings. Our first research question was, how has the COVID-19 pandemic affected the usage and perceptions of touch displays in public? Generally, participants reported a moderate degree of awareness for hygiene on public displays. This means that they sometimes avoided the use of public touchscreens and occasionally disinfected or washed their hands before or after use. 
Also, participants reported a slight decrease in the use of some public displays as a result of the pandemic. This suggests a modest shift towards alternative methods, like buying online tickets instead of using a ticket machine. Still, at least part of this decrease is likely a result of the pandemic regulations, as people were likely to go out less and some locations with public displays were at times closed. Our second research question was, what kind of hygiene information do people want to see on public touch displays? The clearly desired piece of information on public touch screens was when the display has been cleaned. Our other investigated measures received a generally new neutral response in our initial inquiry in the online survey. However, the investigation of our hygiene concept, where these measures were demonstrated in practice, yielded more positive results across the board. Overall, the demand for hygiene information was very strong among those who also had strong concerns about COVID-19. Our third research question was, how do people feel about seeing the touches of prior users on the screen and what is the most preferred design for such visualizations? Out of the three investigated visualizations, the fingerprints were clearly the most preferred. The viruses were seen as effective in making people avoid touching the same location on the screen, however, many stated that the viruses create unnecessary fear. The circles were rated rather neutrally and were not seen as effective. Generally, the response to the visualizations was mixed. Some people thought that they go too far and some thought that they were distracting. There were also concerns that if touching the display leaves a trace, this could invite playful behavior and therefore result in even more touches. Conversely, some thought that seeing the touch traces on the screen would make them avoid the display completely. There were also concerns that touch traces might quickly populate the important parts of the UI or that they might reveal personal information like passwords. We discuss overcoming these challenges in the paper, for example, by, by making the traces transparent or by making the user interface adaptive. To conclude, overall, our research suggests that there is demand for improved hygiene measures on public touchscreens. This demand is particularly strong among those who have strong concerns about COVID-19. The clearly desired piece of information is when the display has been cleaned, but there is also demand for other ways of communicating the hygiene state of a display. For a more detailed discussion, please refer to our paper, where we also discuss design implications and directions for future work. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention.